Tonight, a Leroy family heartbroken and mystified after this man, Norman Ball, a father and a grandfather, was shot and killed while sleeping in his own bed this morning. And that was only the beginning. Police say the prime suspect, 53-year-old Kyle Johnson, then ran home, set his house on fire, and started shooting as firefighters arrived on scene. The suspect is now facing several charges tonight, including murder and arson. Now, this all happens as the Genesee County community there left to try and pick up the pieces after what happened this morning. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller live in Leroy tonight. Keith, Joanna, imagine going to fight a fire in the middle of the night and arriving on scene and getting shot at. That's exactly what happened to firefighters here in the Leroy Fire Company, and it's the reason why the company brought in counselors tonight to help firefighters deal with what they had witnessed this morning. We weren't allowed in tonight, but this is what happened earlier today, and no one is more shocked than the family of Norman Ball. Smartest most caring and generous person I ever met in my life and ever will know. Ryan Ball is talking about his father, 69-year-old Don Ball, who died this morning after being shot in the face while sleeping in his bed. His neighbor is the prime suspect. I didn't wake up until the roommate came over and hollered up the stairs to me. Shots rang out shortly before 4 this morning. Ryan was sound asleep with his young son in the same home on Selden Road when police say the intruder entered the home, found Ball, and shot him. The shooter, police say, is 53-year-old Kyle Johnson. He lives less than a mile from the crime scene. Johnson was arraigned in Leroy Town Court late this afternoon on murder charges, among other things. No, no indication of motive. And there may not be one. No known motive, and Ball has no idea why anyone would want his dad dead. He started an orphanage. He's a disabled veteran from Vietnam, and he helped start the orphanage in Vietnam when he was serving there. The whole family is uh, suffering, uh, and he had a loss of words, quite frankly. Shortly after killing Ball, police say Johnson walked back to his home and set it on fire. When firefighters arrived on the scene, police say Johnson shot at them, nearly missing the fire chief and safety officer. When he got out of the vehicle, heard the shots, looked up to his left, could thought what he saw was a wadding from the shotgun going, going by his head. He's shaking up because he was shot at. For the next several hours, the younger ball, his son, and other neighbors were on lockdown while Johnson paced around the neighborhood with a shotgun in hand. He kind of, uh, you know, was coming across our property and walking up to the front uh, of the road, and there was police surrounding our property yelling at him to put the gun down. He wanted to be shot, we believe. He just kept yelling, you know, get it over with. Why don't you shoot me? We want to reiterate tonight that the firefighters who were shot at and that one police officer did not sustain any, any injuries. They were not hit or injured tonight. Johnson is being held without bail in the Genesee County Jail, and he's due back in court on Friday. We're live in Leroy tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Hannah. Now, what happened in Leroy this morning is raising questions about whether there was proper communication between police and fire. During a news conference after the fact today, our reporter asked if firefighters were told that this was an active shooter situation. Fire authorities tell 7 Eyewitness News they didn't know there was a suspect on the run until they heard the gunshots being fired at them. Police say they're now working to try and figure out what went wrong. Again, we didn't know they were connected. So do you believe so. communication was sufficient? Here. Uh, without reviewing the tape, I can't comment on that. And when do you plan on reviewing the tape? We'll review it within the next week or so. And again, no first responders were injured there this morning.